Did you guys know that Checo Perez hasn't been the only Mexican in Formula One? <laughs> I know, it's a bit hard to believe, but there has actually been a lineage of other Mexican drivers in this category. Don't miss this video to find out more. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. With you, Manena Manotu, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Mexican drivers in Formula One before Checo Perez. Mexican drivers have been in Formula One almost since the beginning of the category once it became official. We have several drivers that have actually been very well known. In the case of our circuit name, Autodromo Hermano Rodriguez, this was named in honor of two brothers, which I'm going to be talking to you about very shortly. So. The first Mexican driver in Formula One was Moises Solana. He only lasted eight Grand Prix, and I was actually quite surprised. It's been a while that I've known that he was the first Mexican Formula One driver, but I was never really fully aware of this. I thought the Hermanos Rodriguez were the first ones to make it to Formula One, and when I found this out, it just it really gave me a lot of hope and it made me get really excited that there have been more Mexicans than I thought in this amazing category. The second one and the one that has also been the second most successful Mexican driver in Formula One has been Pedro Rodriguez. Until Checo Perez had that first victory in Secure in 2020, the only Mexican driver that had actually gotten a victory in this category was Pedro Rodriguez. He got two categories seven podiums and 54 Grand Prix. He was a promising talent, but unfortunately he died during a Grand Prix practice. Then came his brother with an even shorter career than him, only seven Grand Prix, and he also died during a Grand Prix practice. These two brothers became really successful because there were high aims with them as to being some of the most successful Mexican drivers in motorsports. Unfortunately, we couldn't see much of their talent because of the tragedies that happened. But as mentioned, our Mexican circuit is named after them in honor of these two talents. Then we have Hector Rebaque with 58 Grand Prix in which he made 13 points. This is the most recent Mexican driver from the old ages of Formula One in which, I mean, he's still alive and I believe he's quite young for having made it to Formula One in like a few years ago. But what's interesting about this Mexican driver is that he went all in. He debuted in Formula One with Hesketh Racing until eventually he decided to form his own team. It was called Team Rebaque. And as if that was not enough, he also made his own car, Rebaque HR100. And we have two Mexican drivers, one that you guys already know of, and the other one which I'm about to tell you. This has been a historical moment since there was two Mexican Formula One drivers at the same time. We have Esteban Gutierrez with 27 Grand Prix. He was part of Haas, he was a Ferrari reserve driver, eventually a Mercedes reserve driver, and at the moment he's currently working with Mercedes at the Digital Communications Department. And of course, Checo Perez. <laughs> I mean, duh. Checo Perez, without a doubt, has been the most successful Mexican driver in Formula One with six victories and 30 podiums. But the real question here resides in the following. Who will be the next Mexican driver in Formula One? Will it actually be about the O-word whom is having such a successful career in IndyCar? And I don't really think McLaren will want to risk it and take him out of there because he is putting Aero McLaren in such a high standard. Or will it be Rafa Villagomez? from Formula 3, which he is a driver that's already in the Formula Racing category. And a lot of Mexican businessmen that relate themselves to motorsports are actually betting a lot on him, making him probably, I mean, not the next Checo Perez, but the next driver in Formula 1. Or will it simply be something as simple as it won't be a Mexican driver, it'll simply be a Latino driver? Felipe Drogovic counts. So what do you guys think? Who will be the next Mexican or Latino driver in Formula One? Don't forget to mention it down below. And of course, see you again next time on another episode of A Girl Talks Formula One.